Chris Philp is the Conservative MP for Croydon South and joins me now from Westminster. So when it comes to grammar schools, I think you went to a grammar school, lots of people would say it's fine if you get in, isn't it? But it's for those who don't pass that 11 plus exam, they feel like failures at 11. Why have such a divisive system? Well, yeah, as you say, I am a South London uh, grammar school boy and I think grammar schools give opportunity to, uh, you know, children from ordinary or even poor backgrounds the chance to fulfil their potential. Now, grammar schools are definitely not about, um, you know, casting aside, <clears throat> excuse me, casting aside children who don't get in. The rest of the school system is incredibly important. Academy schools, free schools, um, all of those schools are, are very important and they're doing very well. There are more children now going to good and outstanding schools than ever before. But grammar schools are very popular with parents. They're massively oversubscribed, often 20 to 1. So letting these very popular schools that parents really want to send their children to, but sometimes struggle to get in, letting them provide some more places strikes me as common sense. And Croydon, um, you know, my constituency, my borough, is a good example. There are some grammar schools in, in Sutton to the west, there's one or two grammar schools in Bromley to the east, that's where I went, um, but there are no grammar schools in Croydon. So you have many of my constituents um, have to send their children miles and miles travelling to a grammar school. So expanding, say, a Sutton grammar school into Croydon, a satellite site, would be a good idea. It just increases choice for parents and that is a good thing. You talked there about grammar schools near you and those ones in Sutton, which, you know, I know people who've been to those, they are incredibly difficult to get into. And it's very rare that a child can get into them without having an awfully uh, large bit of tutoring, which costs money. So you say so, you're helping disadvantaged pupils. Really, do you think those schools are so helping there are, those from poor so there, there, there are two answers to your question. Firstly, if they're really hard to get into, creating more spaces will alleviate that pressure. Creating more spaces will help that problem that you're describing. Um, but secondly, on the admissions point, um, some grammar schools do a very good job at admitting children from much poorer backgrounds. And actually, Wallington County Boys, one of those uh, Sutton grammar schools, um, does a really good job. They do um, outreach work. Uh, some grammar schools do uh, free tuition for the test. Uh, the Edward VI grammar schools in Birmingham even do scholarships for travel and for sports equipment. By doing those things, the Edward VI grammar schools in Birmingham and Wallington County Boys in Sutton have got their free school meals intake up over 20%, which is higher than the local population. So other grammar schools can learn from that. And when you get those things right, as those grammar schools have, you do actually have very high proportions of children from free school meals backgrounds going. But the other grammar schools um, do need to learn those lessons from Wallington and from Edward VI. What do you say to parents who are in schools where their head teachers have even at times asked for donations to pay for textbooks? Money is pretty scarce, isn't it? Is this really the right way to be uh, spending that, those precious resources? Well, let's firstly put it into context. This is £50 million pounds, um, for the year and the total education budget is in the region, I think, of about roughly £40 billion or £42 billion. Pounds. So it represents, um, what's that, it's a, a, a very small fraction of the total school's budget, less than about 1%. Um, and secondly, you know, we do recognise there are funding pressures and that's why uh, when she was Education Secretary last year, Justin Greening announced an extra £1.3 billion pounds for schools. That started to hit uh, in April of this year, so just a, just a few weeks ago, um, it'll hit the front line. And we are seeing uh, now, with that extra money, real terms per pupil increases uh, this year in pupil funding. So I think schools should find um, those pressures this year and next year um, easing a little bit. OK, Chris Philp, we must leave it there. Thank you very much indeed, Chris Philp, the Conservative MP for Croydon South.